Joining me now is Josh Shapiro, who's running for Pennsylvania governor and is the current attorney general. General Shapiro, it's great to see you. Thank you very much. So Good, good to be with you, Andrea. Thank you. Well, at least 200 Rep Republican nominees running for office right now are election deniers, including your opponent. So talk about what's at stake in this election with so many Republicans. They're all Republicans, the election deniers, across the country uh, in battleground states, which will, of course, yeah. be critical coming up in 2024. You know, Andrea, I'm running against by far the most dangerous and extreme uh, candidate in the entire country. We know where he was on January the 6th. He was part of that violent mob that breached police lines. In fact, when the police held up steel barricades, the violent mob he was with ripped it out of the hands of law enforcement and kept on marching. Police died that day, Andrea, and in the days thereafter. It's one of the reasons, by the way, why uh, so many in law enforcement have rejected my opponent and support me. But there's a reason why he was there that day on January 6th. It wasn't to hear a speech or peacefully protest. He was there to stop the votes of Pennsylvanians from being counted in the last election. And it's not just what he did in the past. It's what he has pledged to do in the future. He has already said that he would use his power as governor to review the voting logs in 2024 and, quote, decertify certain voting machines around Pennsylvania. Those are his words, not mine. His point there is that he can use his power as Pennsylvania governor to decertify enough voting machines so he gets to pick the winner next time. Listen, I'll be damned if I'm going to let Doug Mastriano thwart the will of the people. I battled against the former president and his enablers over 40 times in court back in 2020 to protect the votes of the good people of Pennsylvania. We won every one of those lawsuits. We stopped them from being able to steal the election. I'm not going to let Doug Mastriano in his dangerous ways take away the voice and the vote of the good people of Pennsylvania. Well, let me ask you about another issue, which is anti-Semitism. So. He's been going after the Jewish day school that you have your children attending. He says that he's rejected anti-Semitism in any form, but he that's only after he was criticized for paying a consultant who runs an anti-Semitic website uh, to be a consultant on his campaign and share followers. Right. Um, how big do you think anti-Semitism as an issue is for Pennsylvania voters? Well, let's just examine his record. I mean, I think he, he has made clear um, that unless you think like him, unless you look like him, unless you worship like him, unless you marry like him, then you don't count in Doug Mastriano's Pennsylvania. He is extremely dangerous. I want to be a governor that brings all people together, no matter what you look like or where you come from, who you love or who you pray to. He is someone, the only candidate in the nation, who is actively recruiting white supremacists to be part of his campaign. Um, he's actively recruiting people on a website known as Gab, which, Andrea, I know you know what Gab was used for. It was used by the killer who went into the Tree of Life synagogue in Pittsburgh and murdered 11 Pittsburghers while they worshipped. And yet, that's where the Republican nominee for governor of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania is going for support. He routinely uh, uses racist slurs and anti-Semitic slurs and, and tropes. He, of course, is uh, a candidate who stood on the grounds of the U.S. Army War College just a few years ago wearing the uniform of the Confederacy. Andrea, that's the uniform of the traitors. That's the uniform of those who went to battle to defend slavery. That is who he is. He has shown us time and time again that he is someone who is trying to exclude certain Pennsylvanians from the conversation. I'm trying to bring Pennsylvanians together and make sure that they're part of our collective future. Now, you've got a problem in Pennsylvania as a candidate, a Democratic candidate, where uh, the president, even though he used to be so strong in Pennsylvania, is not as popular as he used to be. And inflation is much stickier than anyone had projected, especially the White House. Uh, costs are going up. There are a lot, lot of problems that are headwinds for Democratic candidates. How do you deal with that? 
Well, first off, I don't look to Washington, D.C. for answers or information. I look to Washington County, Pennsylvania. I take my cues from right here inside our great Commonwealth, and I'm focused on the issues that matter most to the good people of Pennsylvania, including how we can cut costs. Look, obviously, the governor and the legislature didn't create inflation. Those are broader national, international geopolitical issues. But we have a responsibility to address it. It's why I put forth a concrete plan months ago on eliminating nuisance taxes here in the Commonwealth, like our cell phone taxes, being able to help seniors stay in their homes, giving folks a gas tax rebate for those who own a car or lease a car, being able to put money back in their pockets. We do have to make it easier for Pennsylvanians to deal with rising costs. But as for the political issues happening in Washington, D.C., I paid no attention to that. I'm focused on building a broad coalition here in Pennsylvania. Um, this is a campaign built of, by, and for the good people of Pennsylvania. It's one of the reasons why we're so proud to have a campaign that includes not just incredible support uh, from within our Democratic Party, but independents and Republicans who continue to join our campaign as well, because they recognize we can bring people together and tackle these big challenges. Now, well, Attorney General Josh Shapiro running for governor. Thank you very much. And we should note, we have, of course, an open invitation for Doug Mastriano, the Republican, to join us, if he so wishes, at any time.